We are off. Today is day 45 of the year of streaming and learning to code. It is also Valentine's Day. So there's that, February 14th. But to us here today, it's day 45, which is Python something or other day. Uh, we are 38% of the way through. It is a late stream, so we're going to try and power through this. But it's still the 14th, so this still counts. All right, we are in, is it section 5? We finished section 4, yeah, functions. That's right, and now we're into lists and dictionaries. Way cool. Let's do this. So today's, today's dictionary day, not Valentine's Day. Tell your friends. Let's see, how many sections do we got here? E ah, okay, there's 14 sections. However, I would like to note that section 14 is it's dangerous to go alone. Take this, which is, of course, a Legend of Zelda reference. So that's okay that there's 14. Hey, and today's February 14th. That matches up. That makes me happy. Numbers are a friend, unless there's a lot of them, and then they aren't. Uh, but that's good. So, section one, fire away. <laughs> that, yeah, all right. Introductions to lists. Lists are a data type that you can use to store a collection of different pieces of information as a sequence under a single variable name. Data types you've already learned about include strings, numbers, and booleans. You can assign items to a list with an expression of the form list underscore name equals item one, item two. With the items between brackets, a list can also be empty empty underscore list equals and empty brackets. Lists are very similar to strings, but there are a few key differences. Instructions, the list zoo animals has three main items. Check them out on line one. Line one, zoo animals. Angolin, what? I don't know what that looks like or what sound it makes. I don't think that's a real creature. Um, all right, so we've got three items. Go ahead and add a fourth and just enter the name of your favorite animal as a string on line one after the final comma, but before the closing. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, so string is in quotes. We've got a space. Quotes. No leopard. Leopard. Right? Maybe it needs to be one word. Do we do snake? We can do snake. That's just one word. No, 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 it, it'll, it'll be fine. It's a string. That's not going to ruin anything. We're good with Snow Leopard. We're going to stick with Snow Leopard. Lists are very similar to strings, but there are a few key to... Okay, uh, good, good, good. Yeah, that's all we need. One of 14 sections down. First animal at the zoo is... Blah. Angolin? Angolin. I'm going to Google that. Oh, it's a uh, yeah. No, that is very sand slashy. Like an anteater slash armadillo slash. Hedgehog type thing, crater. <clears throat> well, it looks cool. 
All right, let's close out of that. Uh, what are we doing? We are off to, so we did our four things. Yeah, the fourth animal, ooh, snow leopard, yay. Next section, 214, access by index. You can access an individual item on the list by its index. An index is like an address that identifies the item's place in the list. The index appears directly after the list name in between brackets, like this, list name index. List indices begin with zero, not one. You access the first item in a list like this, list name blah. The second item in a list is at index one. List name one computer science scientists love to start counting from zero. Sure. Write a statement that prints the result of adding the second and fourth items of the list. Make sure the list, make sure to access the list by index. Yeah, we're going to do print. Adding the numbers at indices 0 and 2. Add the numbers at indices 1 and 3. Since it's just going to be the same code and it's really straightforward, we're just going to do that. 1, 3. Good, good. Section 3. New neighbors. A list index behaves like any other variable name. It can be used to access as well as assign. You can... Nope, oh, that was kidding. That was me. That was me. Brain fart. You saw how to access a list index like this. Zoo animal zero gets the value. Pangolin. I wonder if I'm saying that correctly. Not important. Doesn't matter. This will be forever stored on the internet. You can see how assignment works here on line five. Uh, line five, the ferocious sloth, something about a hyena. Zoo animal two, hyena, changes sloth to hyena. Uh, yeah, it does. Write an assignment statement that will replace the item that currently holds the value tiger with another animal as a string so we're going to do zoo animal copy pasties we're going to do section indices three which is item number four and we will do nick right right Submit. So maybe we should have been more detailed, like Cobra or something, but it's a little G.I. Joey for me. Late night arrivals and list length. A list doesn't have to have a fixed length. You can add items to the end of a list anytime you like. Letters A, B, C. Letter A, append, D, print, len, letters, print, letters. In the example above, we first create a list called letters, then we add the string D to the end of the letters list. Next, we print out for the length of the letters list. Finally, we print out A, B, C, D. Number three confused me. Next, we print out for. A oh yeah, okay. So that was the length of the list. How many items it we added up? We added D, which is the fourth item. Then we printed out the length, so it indicates there's four values, and then we print out what the values are. A C D. Cool. On line five, six, and seven, append three more items to the suitcase list, just like the second line of the example above. Append blah blah and blah. Maybe bring a bathing suit, too. Then set list length equal to the length of the suitcase list. And that's it. All right, suitcase 
law. Two case append, sunglasses. Your code here. Mm -hmm. They said add a bathing suit. Oh god. Carried away. All right. Uh, suitcase. Suitcase append. Suitcase append. I wonder if we can have two, or if they just want the same one, or if they're concerned about the print thing. List length blank. Set this to the length of suitcase. Length suitcase. <laughs> Length, suitcase, do, 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 do. no, 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 you're not going to DuckTales, not going to Duckburg. Why are my parentheses really struggling with that? List length equals length suitcase. Print, there are blank items in the item suitcase. We're going to do it. Tim Smith, something is terribly wrong. There are two items in suitcase. Should I have both in one? That better? No, that's worse. It looks a bit off hint. Check the help if you need it. Do we need help? The percent bit of magic on line 11 is the string information. As the string formatting we learned earlier, the percent details Python to expect an integer to insert instead of a string value. Set this to the length of suitcase. Yeah, we did length of suitcase. Am I supposed to change this to something? Suitcase as well. You remember to append three items to the suitcase. Oh, lines five, six, and seven. You lazy. Okay. But, okay, we've got shoes. Now, we've got watches. Pants. Socks. Golden. There we go, that makes sense. There are four items in the suitcase. Sunglasses, watches, pants, socks. Da, 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 da. Five of 14. List slicing. Sometimes you only want to access a portion of a list. Letters A, B, C, D, E, slice letters one through three, which cuts off at three. Uh, so really it's one and two, which since it starts at zero, that's items B and C. Print slice, print letters. In the above example, we first create a list called letters, then we take a uh, subsection and store it in the slice list. 
we are, uh, we start at the index before the colon and continue up to, but not including the index after the colon. Next, we print out B and C. Remember that we start counting indices from zero and that we stopped before index three. Finally, we print out A, B, C, D, E, just to, just to show that we did not modify the original letters list. On line four, remember that, line four, create a list called middle, containing only two middle items from suitcase. On line five, create a list called last, made up of only the last two items. So middle is the two middle items, and last, the last two items. Good. Suitcase. I'm just going to take their format, copy. Um, zero, one, two, three, four, five. We've got two and three, four and five, two and three. Four and five. Looking good, looking good. Let's see. No, not good. You were wrong. It looks like your middle slice is passport instead of passport. Thank you. So glad you noticed that, because it is. Passport, comma, laptop. Oh. Again, it doesn't include this. So, what we do is two to four and four with nothing. Submit. Ta da! You're welcome. Figured it out. Can't stop me now. Section 6. Okay, 6 of 14. We're getting there. Slicing lists and strings. You can slice a string exactly like a list. In fact, you can think of strings as lists of characters. Each character is a sequential item in the list starting from zero, starting from index zero. My list two grabs the first two items. My list three grabs the first four through the last I no, 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 just kidding, doesn't grab the first four, it grabs the fourth through the last items. If your list slice includes the very first or last item uh, in a list or a string, the index for that item does not have to be included. Okay, this is good. This is feeling very, what did we, what did we learn strings and lists in before? Actually, I feel like we've learned it a couple times. Was it, was it in HTML or was it JavaScript? It was JavaScript. Could have been command line. Could have been both command line and JavaScript. But I know we've experienced this is all very similar. It's now the the Python format and syntax of doing it, but um, the premise is still very similar. So that's good. Confidence and comfort. Barely increasing. Assign to a dog a slice of animals from index 3 up until, but not including, index 6. So 3 to 6. Dog. Starting from 3. Don't include six. Assign to frog a slice of animals from index six until the end of the string. From index six. Golden, beautiful. 
Section 7, maintaining order. Sometimes you need to search for an item in a list. Animals equals ant, bat, cat, print animals dot index, bat, one. First, we create a list called animals with three strings, two. Then we print the first index that contains the string bat, which will print one. We can also insert items into a list. Animals dot insert one comma dog. Print animals, we insert dog at index one, which moves everything down one. We print out ant, dog, bat, cat. Hmm. We insert dog at index, which moves everything down by one. So because it's the second in the line, it just crams it as second place, and then everything follows, follows suit. All right. Use the index.items function to find the index of duck. Assign that result to a variable called duck index. Yeah, that's a little weird. Then dot insert index dot item ah uh, dot insert index comma item string cobra at that index. Kind of feel them. Kind of get it. I can see it. Dot index item duck. Ducky, crack attack. <coughs> Animals index duck. Oh. Uh, well, wait, why do they have your code here? Insert index item, the string cobra at them. Print animals, observe what animals print. Insert dot animals dot insert. Index item. Spring Cobra at the index. Okay, so Cobra. Not gonna lie, I know I put in Snake, but I said, hey, I could put Cobra. And now they're using it as an example, so, you know. Looks like there may have been a problem with Insert or Index. Yeah, you might be right. The duck index? Line 5. Trace back. Most recent call last. File. Insert. It's exactly two arguments given. Mm. Zero? Integer is one. Dot one? Let's see the hint. You're not replacing duck with cobra. You're just finding duck. Then inserting cobra. What? What? I put duck 
Will that make them feel better? Their hint didn't help. Well, let's reset the code. Use index law to find doc. Animals. Index. Item. Animals dot index. Duck. That seems straightforward. We've got animals insert. Then dot insert index item string cobra at the index. Animals, insert, Cobra, I think there may be a problem with insert or index, please check them. Trace back my recent call Python line 5 in module. Insert takes exactly two arguments. Only one has been given. You're not replacing duck with cobra. You're just finding duck. And inserting cobra. Okay, so we're going to leave that there to add in Grab this, grab that. Slicing. Oh. Late arrivals, list length. We can swap, append. That's what we're looking for. Animals, append. Animals and oh, that's not good. No, that's okay. Append Cobra.
Line six. An integer is required. I, I don't know how to help you. What the f is an integer? Do you want to tell me how integers work, or we'll just we'll let the users guess until they figure it out? Yeah, that's a good way to teach people, right? Maybe just blindfold them and push them off the the um, what is it? Yeah, doesn't matter. Terrible. This is all awful. You're not replacing duck with cobra, you're just finding duck, then inserting cobra. Your instructions are nuts. Okay. It is section 7, maintaining order. Oh look, maintaining order. People are having issues. Who would have thought? Maintaining order. I'm not duck. I would just like it if someone could explain here and why duck index appeared with explanation and why I had to insert it as an argument. When in the example, there was no such thing. Cheers. Replace this line with your code. The example is just showing you how to use index and insert. If there's no thinking step in the exercise left, you'll never learn the program. You still need to combine index and insert. Otherwise, it would have been too easy. Uh-huh. I don't believe you. Error message, oops, getting error message. Make sure to pass duck index as the first argument. Index equals animal dot duck. Okay, did that. Why are you doing cobra second? The error message I'm getting. Oops, try again. Make sure to pass duck as the first argument. The whole point of the exercise was to insert cobra at the index position of duck, which is 2. The window prints out the new list with cobra in the correct position. The code is functional. Why would I pass duck index into my insert? Solved. The interpreter already gives you a clue that you should pass duck index as the first argument on the insert method. This is the right thing to do for this exercise rather than use two. Recall this line duck index animal dot index duck is already performing the index position you are targeting but in a more dynamic way. Sometimes you might have a long array, and instead of looking for the position, you'll look for the object itself. In this case, animal itself. I hope that helps. Yeah, kind of. That worked perfectly, thank you. I was honestly confused because it was printing out exactly what I wanted. You're welcome, glad I could help, have fun coding. Blah blah blah, duck, print duck index. Use blank to find duck index cobra. Is that what it is? Are you serious? Oh my god. I'm gonna try that. But why does it say.
insert index, the string, cobra at index. Get it a main. Why do they have it at two? You're gonna run it. Doesn't like that. We're gonna put it two there. Doesn't like this. Doesn't like that. Is it animals? once and integer in Python Python supports four different numerical types int Signed integer. They're often just called integers, or ints are positive or negative whole numbers with no decimal point. Real part of the number is A, and the imaginary part is B. Complex numbers are not used much in Python programming. Seems like one, two, three, or four might count as an integer. Yeah? No? So, what the hell? Two seems pretty integer y to me, right? You forgot to sign a value to duck index. Animal dot index duck. Looks pretty straightforward, right? Animals dot index duck. Duck index animals duck will copy that same thing. Look at this. You put it in, paste, nothing changed. Man Z, undo, nothing changed. Man V, 
Nothing changed. Look, we'll do Command V again. Oh, undo Command Z. Okay, look, run. Is it duck? I mean, I don't know what to tell them. Is there no space? Is that the issue? I mean, there's clearly a space here. Maybe there shouldn't be a space for the number? Death, death, death. Well, that's interesting. The new item should have been inserted at the index previously occupied duck. Duck, duck versus. Cobra, duck. Make sure to pass duck index as the first argument in insert. Ta da! Figured it out. Usually, our toiling doesn't result in success. Okay. Section 8 of 14. Oh, dear. <laughs> For one and all. If you want to do something with every item in the list, you can just use a for loop. If you've learned about for loops in JavaScript, that's where we've seen all this nonsense. It was in JavaScript. Um, if you want to do something with every item in the list, you can use a for loop. If you've learned about for loops in JavaScript, pay close attention. They're different in Python. For variable in list name, do stuff. A variable name follows the for keyword. It will be assigned the value of each list item in turn. The in list name designates list name as the list the loop will work on. The line ends with a colon. And the intended code that follows will be executed once per item in the list. Write the statement for the indented part of the for loop that prints a number equal to two times number for every list item. This is going to be bad. Two times number or two times list. Each list item is assigned the user-defined variable number. In turn, all you need to do is print two times number, just like in the instructions, in the body part of the loop, the indented part. The for loop will automatically execute your code as many times as there are items in my list. Two times number print. Forgot that bit. Da, 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 da. Two times one, two times nine, two times three, two times eight, two times five, two times seven. Nice. Nine of fourteen. Oh, my nose. Why? More with four. If your list is a jumbled mess, you may need to sort it. Animals equals cat and bat animal sort blah for animal in animals print animal. First, we create a list called animals with three strings. The strings are not in alphabetical order. Then we sort animals into alphabetical order. Note that dot sort modifies the list rather than returning a new list. Fetch 
item, an animal, we print that item out as ant, bat, cat on their own line each. Write a for loop that iterates over start list dot append each number squared x squared the square list, then sort. What? That just sounds terrible. Get a for loop. And it pins each number squared or start list. No. Or animal. The four dot append in start list. Each number squared x2 two, two square list then sort sounds awful sounds awful and you will need to use a for loop the dot append method or dot sort method feel free to peek back at previous exercises in this section if you need to this seems hellish All right. If your list is a jumbled mess, you may need to sort it. Blah, blah, blah. Sort. For loop, append, sort. For loop. And sort. Square list. Write a for loop that iterates over start list. and appends each number squared to square list this is bad Okay. Copy. Then sort. Where list. Where list sort. Print. Where list. That does not seem right.
four start with a pen. This seems wrong. More for four. More for four. I don't understand what it's asking me to do. What are you learning? You need to post your question in the right place. Choose category and topic. Leave the first two lines as they are. They're defined there. And add this. Four numbers in start list. Square list depend numbers times two. That's you adding square numbers to the start list. Square list sort. You sorting it out alphabetically and later printing. I think that may be right. Or numbers in our list. Our list depends on. Interesting. Numbers start list, square list, square list, end and sort. Numbers start list, square list. Four. Numbers in start list. Square list and X squared. looks a bit off. Hit check and if you need help. Line 6. Start list. Oh, numbers. There we go. One, four, nine, sixteen, twenty-five. Nice. Okay, ten of fourteen. Brutal. This next part is key. A dictionary is similar to a list, but you need to access values by looking up a key instead of an index. A key can be any string or number. 
Dictionaries are encoded in curly braces like so. D equals E1, 1, E2, key 3. This is a dictionary called D with three key value pairs. The key key 1 points to the value 1, key 2, and so on. Dictionaries are great for things like phone books, pairing a name with a phone number, login pages, pairing an email address with a username, and more instructions. Print the values stored under the sloth and Burmese Python key. Accessing dictionary values by key is like accessing a list value by index. Residence, Puffin, gets the value 104. Assigning the dictionary with three key values pairs resident. Print resident Puffin. Print room Puffin. Add your code here. Print the values stored. In, under sloth and Burmese Python. So print residence sloth and Burmese Python. Sloth, comma, Burmese Python. I do not like the space. Line seven. An example code has been provided that prints the value stored under Puffin key. The code on the line 4 it would be 104. Don't you see why? Your code should be very similar, but should target two keywords, sloth and Burmese Python. I need to have the and. This is painful, this is painful. Invalid C. One oh six.
What is the deal? Why? How it prints Burmese Python. It would print Puffin. It would print Burmese Python. But it can't see sloth. I was printing sloth, but not Burmese Python. What the hell? I totally get they they definitely shouldn't be doing it for us, but the instructional there is clearly a disconnect. Why would there be this many questions? There's not a QA forum for when you get confused when you're reading Harry Potter. Right? You know, that's a book, it's you know, kind of a complex idea that continues to grow. Why I mean, it should be written to the point where there almost shouldn't be a Q&A section. If they had, like, a discovery area, you know, where you forge your own code, then yeah, you know, the community can help. But for learning basic things, I, I just, I don't see why there's such a large disconnect for such low-level coding concepts. Kind of odd. QA forums. This next part is the key. Alright, I'm not actually seeing help for that part, so I'm, I'm actually going to hold off and save the rest of this fun for tomorrow, because it started super late and it's already been an hour of streaming, and there's no way I can make it to section 14, so, at least not at this rate, not tonight, so I gotta kill the stream. But, good times. We did make it 10, well, 9 out of the 14. And we'll, we'll finish this nightmare tomorrow. Alright, back and out for today. Let's see where we finish still. 38%, that is okay. That is okay. Let's do this. Stop stream. Be sure. Kill it. <laughs>